Hello guys, Justin Brock here, and today we have a special guest uh, with us from Crinkwheel. His name is Yoy, and he is here to help solve a problem that all of us are familiar with, and that is how to gain trust, show uh, people who are non-tech savvy your screen easily, and uh, it seems like such a simple task to some of us, but we know our customers have a lot of issues with some of the more complex softwares out there. And so Crankwheel has come up with a way to do what, what we all do uh, on here, what we're going to do on here on StreamYard, which is, you know, share a screen. You always go into in a minute, uh, but it's much more complex to do it on here than it would be uh, in the way that they're going to show us. So also uh, Crankwheel is a sponsor uh, of MedicareCon this year, though a, their team is not going to be there. They are going to be there in spirit. We're going to uh, you know, help promote their service. And that's easy for us to do. As everybody knows, we only promote services at MedicareCon that we believe would be beneficial to our attendees and the people that are watching us all around the country. So uh, without further ado, Yoy, thank you thank for you, being here. Thanks for having me on. Uh, it's great to be here. We're, we're really excited to sponsor uh, Medicare Con, and we hope it is a uh, fantastic event for everybody. Uh, we love the insurance uh, industry, you know, all you folks selling Medicare, helping people with ACA, all of these things. Uh, you're our best customers, and, and that's why we're really happy to sponsor. Um, yeah, so, so thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. And so tell me just, to, you know, before we get started, um, how did how, what's the origin of, of Crankwell? How did, how did we... Um, how did this get started? I mean, I'm sure there was a problem and, and I, I want to know, like, how did that problem become obvious and something that you guys wanted to tackle? Absolutely. Yeah, we've we've been around already for uh, for nine years uh, okay. in a few days. Uh, I can't believe it's that long, but it is. And uh, the way the idea came out was uh, I, I, had, I had been working at Google. I'm the sort of technical founder. Uh, of the company, I'd been working at Google for about ten years, and and some of the stuff I worked on there was the kind of technology that, for example, this solution we're using right now is based on, so real time video, real time audio, and um, I was chatting with uh, an old uh, an old school buddy of mine who became my co founder of the company, Gilsey. And uh, he'd been selling insurance over the phone, sometimes face to face, uh, for for a number of years, and. Uh, you know, initially we were just trying to figure out uh, a new type of sales tool that hadn't been created before that would help the, you know, the insurance uh, salespeople. And um, we, th I think we kind of invented almost every kind of sales enablement and lead generation and whatever tool you might have, and and you know, quickly realized they all existed. And then, um, you know, after a few weeks of this, I asked Gilsey this really kind of innocent question, which I thought there would be a, a definitely be an answer to, which was just, you know, when you're on the phone with somebody and you need to just show them something real quick, what do you use for that? And he told me we don't. And that's really where the idea for Crankwheel came for came from. Um, because what I understood from this chatting with him was that the existing solutions, you know, for web conferencing, when you're selling to people who are non-tech savvy, people who are running around, they only have their mobile phone, you know, you can't expect them to go from a sales call where they're kind of interested, you know, to jumping through hoops for you for five or 10 minutes just to set something up just so that you can sell to them. Um, yeah. And with my background in, in doing the kind of real-time communications uh, that's necessary for this, I realized that we could create a product that would specifically solve this problem. So you could be on the phone with somebody and within five or 10 seconds, you could add a visual presentation to the phone call. There would never be any kind of an application to install. Uh, there would never be like a download or a registration, nothing complicated whatsoever for your client. So it, it just needs to be something that's as smooth and reliable as, as the phone call is. So, so that's kind of how it came about. It was just an innocent question. I, I I thought for sure there'd be a solution already out there. Well, you wanna you wanna take uh, the wheel and steer here and show us exactly how easy it is. Sure, absolutely. So what I'll do is uh, I will I will share my screen here um, through this webinar platform here. Uh, hang on. All right. All right. So first of all, um, crankwheel.com is our is our homepage, and you can sign up right there for free. 
Um, so to get to the product, you can click here on login. But really, most people use it from this button in their browser that gets installed as part of your sort of sign up process. So I'll show you how you launch it from there. And so again, let's imagine I'm on the phone already with a client and, uh, you know, I want to establish trust. So what's the first thing I do? Maybe, maybe I want to just show them my face, right? So I'm going to turn on my webcam and for this first part of the demo, let's imagine that they are on their mobile phone. And if they're on their mobile, the easiest way to get them connected is you can send them a text message right from Crankwheel. So I've just typed in my own mobile number here and, and sent a text message to the phone. And there it is. I, I know you're not going to see this very well, so I'll do the rest of the demo on the screen. But there's a message here that says, join my meeting by clicking this link. And they just need to click the link. All you need to tell them is, you know, hey, maybe put me on speaker so you can look at this thing I want to show you while we talk. And you don't need to explain it's a web conference. You know, you don't need any software. You, you don't need to explain anything. Just send them the link. They click on it. They have it open in their browser. And it just works. And here's here's the webcam in the browser. I don't know how well you'll, you'll see that right now, but it, it is there. Um, and um, you know, one of the first things a lot of customers, a lot of our customers will do is to show their, you know, license for the state to show that they are allowed to sell insurance there. So, uh, but, but actually let me, let me do the rest of the demo uh, showing you another approach to get them connected. So this, this was the mobile, uh, actually what, one other thing. Okay. Let me show the license that's, uh, that I have. This is just a, a dummy license that I have here. Um, just for illustration purposes, I'm not an agent. Um, myself, although sometimes I wish I was. Um, so there's the license. You might want to show this to them. So now it's on the mobile phone screen right there. And let's say they, oh, and, and the webcam is also on the mobile phone screen, just in the corner. I don't know if you can see it very well there, but, yeah. it, but it's still there as an overlay. You can turn that on and off. So let's say on their mobile, they zoom in on something. Do you see what happens there in this little preview window that we have? inside the crank wheel control panel, it will show you which part of the screen share they're looking at. You, uh, you're seeing that? Yeah. yeah. It'll also show you like if they are tapping on their screen, you, you get this little orange disc that shows you where they're tapping. And, you know, with any client, there's a possibility that you kind of lose their attention for a few seconds and maybe they are actually just scrolling Facebook and going, yeah, yeah. Yep, on the phone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so Crankwheel will also show you, like now I, I, I exited the browser on my phone, and you see what Crankwheel tells me, it's that viewer's window is hidden. So I can try to get them back by saying something clever, and now, that, now the viewer has returned, I can tell that uh, within the Crankwheel interface. Okay. Um, one other thing that I'm not going to dig very deeply into, but I want to show you while, while I have the mobile phone connected, is that if you're selling ACA and you need to collect uh, consent, for, uh, you know their consent, or get their attestation that you've helped them fill in a form and it's all correct, you can do this by from Crankwheel. If you connect them on a mobile, you can do this by launching a consent form or an attestation form, and it's really kind of an e-signature flow. It just launches on their phone. Uh, they need to fill in the form. I was going to ask you this yeah. after we got off the recording because I didn't want to ask you. For, but I was asking, going to ask if it could be used for signature forms Absolutely. Or, or, or to collect at least a signature. Yeah. Absolutely. For those two forms right now, these are standard forms that we provide for, uh, you know, consent to make you their agent or broker uh, and attestation to, to say that you've helped them fill in and that everything is correct. Those two forms by standard we provide right now. And we're working to expand this so that you can do any kind of e-signature uh, right there within a phone call. So I'm not going to go through the flow because it's it's not very visual and and it takes a little you know it takes a couple of minutes but I just wanted to mention that that's available when you connect them with a mobile phone. Um, okay, so just to talk about maybe a couple of sort of typical use cases for Crankwheel, I mentioned that you know one of the things you would typically do is, is, or might typically do is you might show your license. So I'll start with that and. I have a number of tabs here in, in my browser. 
I can share the full screen through Crankwheel if I want to, but it can be a lot cleaner if I just share um, browser tabs. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to bring that off screen. And instead, on screen here, I'm going to show you another approach to get your viewer connected. So you could type in their email address and you know have Crankwheel prepare an email that you send to them with a link. So you can do that if you want to. Um, but if you already have them on the phone, that's not the approach we recommend because you know email can take three, four, five minutes to arrive. And if you're on a roll in a great sales call, you don't want to introduce any kind of an awkward pause into it, right? So instead, what we recommend is what we call the public link, and it's it's shown right here. So you ask them to open up a browser window, and then type in, and then you get a you get a link which is. Uh, short and easy to type. So by default, it's meeting dot is slash and then the name of your company or, or your or your own name. Um, so for this demo account, it's meeting is demo. So they type that in and then they click your photo and you, you'll see there's only one person here, just me in the in this kind of uh, reception lobby kind of a uh, situation. That's because I'm the only person at Crankwheel currently waiting for somebody to join a meeting. So They'll usually only see you there, nobody else, even if you're on a, a you know a big team. So they click your photo, they see a number, and remember, they're on the phone with you already, so they're told to tell you 33, and this is like a security handshake, so nobody you know unauthorized gets in. You see them here, viewer 33, accept them in, and that's all there is to it. They, they're now seeing your screen share. If you wanna turn on your webcam as an overlay on top of that, you know you can do that. You can remove your background the way we did before, so so that you know the webcam doesn't take up space except for you know to show you. Um, and right now I'm showing my license, and uh, I'll, I'll show you another common use case, which is that you would maybe go to healthcare.gov, and I'm switching the screen share to show that. So you might go to healthcare.gov. You could you know start filling in a form with them. Uh, check if they have eligibility, maybe help them uh, create an account or create a, a, an application. And oops, not California. Um, so, And one neat thing you can do with Crankwheel is that even if they're on their mobile phone, you can have them type in the information on the forms that you're showing them. You can have them type in their password, you know, create their password and everything without, without you having access to that password. Um, so whether they're on their computer or their mobile phone, you can give them remote control over your keyboard and your mouse cursor so that they can kind of take control. Um, and, and some of our customers do this uh, for, for different uh, types of industries. Um, yep, so, so this is another typical use case would be, you know, helping them fill in those forms. And that's where the attestation form really comes in handy. You fill in the forms with them and then you have them fill in the attestation form and the, so they've verified you know, that uh, that everything was done correctly. All right, and then I have a, one last browser tab um, ready here in my in my sort of tab browser, uh, list of, of tabs here. And that's, uh, it's a side-by-side -side comparison of some plans. And again, this window here, this is the viewer's experience. And I'm actually working on this window that's off screen right now. So this is like, uh, um, a calculator for comparing different health plans just a third party thing it's not a it's not a crank wheel specific thing and again letting them type in their assumptions into the calculator using our remote control feature can be a really powerful way to keep them engaged through the process of like maybe comparing some different plans things like that um yeah uh Couple more things to mention. There, there's there's tons of functionality in the platform, but of, of course I'm not going to try to cover everything. A couple of more things things to mention are that let's say they need their spouse on the call, then uh, you could join the spouse just by you know conferencing them in or like adding adding a call to to the ongoing call, and then you can add their spouse to the screen share here. Add viewers, uh, you know, type in another phone number or email or or do the public link again so very easy to add more people to the call even if it's impromptu like this nothing has been scheduled beforehand you're just calling them um you didn't need to tell them you were going to do a screen share or have a web conference nothing that'll scare them off you know
Mm -hmm. So yeah, so those are sort of the those are sort of the basics that I wanted to show you. So uh, I'll keep the screen share going for a few seconds in case there are some questions you want to cover with me. Yeah, what's uh, right below that play a video? What is that? Is that just like if you have pre canned videos that you like to use, you could upload them? And yes, yes. Okay. So I'm gonna turn off the webcam for this. So yes, exactly. So I can I can upload videos. I can also record my own videos of Crankwheel. So I can record my sessions. I can record screencasts or webcam, just talking into the web camera, like record kind of sales videos. Mm -hmm. Any video, whether I record it through Crankwheel or I upload it, I can mark it as being available in this thing that we call the projector. So usually you don't want all your videos there, just a few. Um, for example, yeah, this one, share your screen to a Tesla. So it is a way for you to play a video in full quality with audio to your client. And it's gonna it's it's an optimized streaming mode for a pre-recorded video. So it's it's actually a separate streaming mode from the from the sort of screen share and webcam streaming mode. So when okay. I click this show video on the client end, it's gonna say you need to click accept to you know watch the video. And and we do that so that we can play audio while the video plays. And uh, they click accept. On your end, you're gonna see this little preview that's showing you where they are in the video. And you can pause the video, play it again, and whenever you need to, you can you know you can stop the video, go back to the screen share. So that's that's what we call projector. Can be really useful if you have that kind of you know a pre-produced kind of video you want to show them. If you had, um, so like right now, what you're using, you have forms built into it to sign. Mm -hmm. uh, if you had a form that you wanted people to sign, is there a way to upload that into Crankwill and have and use the 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 signing functionality to sign a different form? Not not at the moment, but we're working towards that. So yeah. you're going to be able to do any kind of e-sign, like do an e-signature on any any document that you provide. Uh, yeah. But that's not there yet. Well, you know, like we currently mm -hmm. we we tell people not to share their screen with customers. Mm -hmm. primarily because of the tech hurdle so uh, absolutely I mean, yeah it's just, you know getting them to get on a zoom or getting them to get on a google meet or anything has been just not been it's been challenging so uh so something like this is definitely needed obviously there are customers that are more technologically savvy than others but in the medicare and aca market landscape both you're going to you know enter into uh, a lot of people especially in the medicare landscape that are very uh, not <laughs> technologically savvy so that's that's absolutely true and and the, and the product is very much designed with that in mind um you know we want you to be able to tell tell them essentially just tell them hey i just sent you a text message can you click on the link in that uh, i want to show you something you know, that's that's the script, really. Uh, you don't need to explain it's a web conference. It's not going to ask them for access to their webcam. That's that's a very conscious decision by us. So you turn on your webcam, right? I'm here, but I have no idea, you know, what they're wearing, if they will get freaked out by having the webcam on, you know, anything. I have no idea beforehand. So we don't even ask them to turn on their webcam. So it, it is a one-way thing. And that is in large part because of the technical hurdle um, and, you know, you don't have to ask them, what kind of phone do you have? Any phone they have, it's going to work. Any computer they have, any browser they're using, everything they might have is going to work. They might have an old Windows XP machine, you know, in the yeah. back room of their office, it's going to work. Yeah. Or if they so have as long as they have a, a browser and access to the internet, it'll work. <laughs> access to the internet and a browser. That's, we, we, I mean, you, you saw the video, I, I started showing screen share to a Tesla. That's doing a screenshot to the screen on the Tesla. Um, we've tried doing it to uh, like a smart fridge. That works fine. We've done it to a uh, uh, the screen on the treadmill at the gym. That works fine as well. So it's wow. it's really designed to work in every situation, no matter what they have. Um, what about and, um, on on the user side? On our side, um, is it a Google Chrome extension that is installed there, or? Yes, uh, you can. So you can use it on on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Chrome OS. Uh, you can use uh, Chrome, uh, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Safari. 
so all of the mainstream browsers on all of those platforms. And we have extensions for all of those except for Safari. So the extension is, is sort of a nice to have. You don't have to use it. You can use just the sort of use it as a plain web application, but it's a little bit nicer to use with the extension. OK, cool. So you can use Safari. You just have to use the, the web interface. Yes, you can use Safari if you want. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Well, we use we we started using Chrome, but we did at one time use Safari for everything. And, um, you know, the big eventually once I went Chrome, eventually I got used to it. It was yeah. hard giving up the the keychain I had gotten used to. But now I'm Chrome password manager and sharing back and forth. So, But um, but yeah, no, that's that's awesome. I think most people I think Chrome's probably the most popular browser in the industry just because of the functionality across so many different uh, e-applications and things like that. So absolutely. Well, awesome, man. I'm, I am, uh, I think this is going to be a great option for many, many people um, considering uh, getting it for our agency and building. I, I really like the URL functionality where you can do meeting.is slash Bobby Brock insurance. And then anybody who's actively awaiting someone on there, having their, their user icon pit set up, that would be pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. for all of our internal agents. So um, I can imagine many people using it. So, well, thank you so much for sure. showing us this. And thank sure. you so much for your involvement in Medicare Con. I uh, definitely look to uh, get some people to to get with you guys. Uh, all you got to do, guys, is down at the bottom of the screen. You can go to crinkwill.com and sign up for free, for a free account. So um, get over there and check it out and you know see what the pricing is for you to build as you build out. It's uh, d doesn't look like a an unaffordable option, uh, and you know it's only gonna it's only gotta probably uh, get you a deal or two a year, and it's paid for itself. So um, in tenfold, really, when you count renewals into to mine and everything. So uh, check it out. Is there anything else or anywhere else, uh, Yoy, that they can reach out to you or uh, or your team? Absolutely, absolutely. So on our main site, crankwheel.com, there's a chat bubble uh, down in the right cor right hand corner, and we're very responsive there. Happy to answer any questions. Uh, we also run uh, free, completely free, no obligations onboarding webinars a couple of times a week. Um, so those are free to sign up. They're usually you know fairly small groups, and if the groups get too big, we, we schedule more so that you know we can really get to all of your questions and, and sort of answer you personally. Um, so those are several, you know, at least a couple of times a week, sometimes more. Um, and uh, yeah, support at crankwheel.com. We're also very uh, responsive there. So yeah, lots of ways to contact us. Uh, I'll also men mention our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash crankwheel. That's also a good place to go to just, if you just want to see more of the functionality or you need help getting started, we have a bunch of videos uh, showing how to do that. Definitely check out crankwill.com, go over to the chat. They're very responsive in the chat. And uh, I know that there's a lot of people that get great use out of, uh, out of this increasingly virtual sales world that's been increasing for about as long as Crankwill's been around. So um, take a moment to go over there and hope to see you guys at MedicareCon. Thank you so much for watching. Are you kidding me, man? This is the greatest conference all time. It's like nothing I've seen before. Um, coming back next year. The business is rapidly changing. If you're not educating yourself, you're going to be left behind. Great thing about Medicare Con and really any of these types of events, this one's so big, is you have all these people from chasing different pursuits in their business coming together and joining and sharing information. That's the best part of this. The conversations I've had with these guys right here, things that I wouldn't get just talking on the phone or anything like that. And the, and the content here, it's been awesome. And uh, Justin's done a great job, man.